Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Ethereum Classic and they may be potentially dropping the DAG, which is currently, I believe, at number uh, 376, their Epoch 376. And the current DAG size is 3.94 gigabytes. So pretty soon, the four gigabyte cards, uh, if not already, I've actually been hearing some reports of some people's four gigabyte cards are not able to mine on Ethereum Classic. So potentially Ethereum Classic may be dropping it down so that three gigabyte cards and four gigabyte cards can participate again on mining Ethereum Classic. Now, they may be implementing this in the next month or so from what I've been hearing. And uh, they just recently had a, an ETC core dev meeting uh, number 14 here. They were talking about the 51% attacks and uh, some solutions for it. And as well as the epoch calibration proposal, which is the day growth limit. Okay. So this was on September 26th of 2020. I tried to listen to the whole thing, but I couldn't really understand some of the people talking, but there are some things here, which they have confirmed. And uh, I'll talk about everything here and show you guys. And, you know, throughout the rest of the video, I'm going to talk about profitability as well. And I'll talk about the network hash rates as well as, you know, Ethereum and its profitability, uh, the DAG size as well currently. And I'm going to talk about four gigabyte cards as well. You guys know, I just picked up a whole bunch of those. I had a feeling that Ethereum Classic was going to lower the DAG. So I guess, you know, four gigabyte cards are back in the play, but that remains to be seen. We will know. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. So let's begin. So this under this YouTube video, under the description, they put all the different ECIPs that they were talking about. ECIP 1092, which is Pearl Guard, and the ECIP 1094, which is the proof of work solution by Veriblock. They had 1096, which is the Bitcoin merged mining, which is an interesting idea. Checkpointing by IOHK, and then they had the 1099 day growth epoch calibration. So this is probably the one that's most imperative uh, for most of you guys who watch my channel. Uh, GPU miners, you know, we all have GPUs that have more than four gigabyte cards anyway, but hey, for people that only have, maybe potentially have four gigabyte cards or three gigabyte cards even, we are then able to mine Ethereum Classic after, you know, the next month or so, assuming they implement this. And then the final one here they talk about is ECIP 1100, a modified exponential subjective scoring. So I'll have this YouTube video linked down below in case you guys want to listen in on the core devs, what they're talking about throughout this whole thing. All right, so let's just go through the whole recap of and the resolutions that they talked about uh, some of the ECIPs here. And okay, so on the video here, they say, ECIP 1049, the Ketchak skipped in call for two more weeks, breakout call next week. So well, they will have another ETH dev call uh, talking about uh, the Ketchak 256 or Kesak 256, AKA SHA-3. So they're gonna be talking about that. And as well as the 51% attack solutions, they've discussed it, but they all remain to be in draft unless meaningful objections are made. Uh, the next one here, most important one we're gonna talk about today is the ECIP 1099 remains in last call with the new activation block number added. Proposal will move to active Friday of next week. Client devs to start working on implementations for upcoming version releases. Okay, so there's another part here I just want to read. Currently remains in the last call stage. This is the proposal regarding limiting the DAG file growth by calibrating the epoch duration, uh, reducing the DAG size and its growth to allow three to four gigabyte card GPUs to continue mining. So let's hear the next part here. We'll move to the accepted stage next Friday unless valid and meaningful objections or concerns are raised. Both Core Geth and Besu have been asked to begin implementing and preparing their releases. So this sounds pretty good, right? This sounds pretty good. I I'm going to give my like analysis and opinions later on in the video talking about if lowering the DAG makes sense or not. So now there was uh, just to quickly go through the other, you know, ECIPs that they were talking about here. 1049 was skipped, remains in last call for another two weeks. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, 1099 remains in last call, but they'll probably accept it next Friday. Okay. So I'll keep you guys updated next week if they accept it next Friday. So definitely we'll talk about that. And then uh, they have ECBP 1100 was demonstrated on the mess net and it moves to active. Okay. So that sounds pretty cool. 1092 was skipped. Nobody spoke in favor of it. 1094 was skipped. 1096 was discussed. 1097 was discussed as well. Okay. But I guess the main big ones was these three right here. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Going along guys, just to give you guys, you know, just the, you know, information of this ECIP 
1099 because this is the highlight that I want to talk about and is probably the most important one that you know some people are interested in and for people that have the RX 580s or 570s or uh, the 470 or 480 cards that have four gigabytes of memory that you can still continue potentially to mine on Ethereum Classic for the next three plus years. Now, wouldn't that be insane. But whether or not in terms of, you know, the equilibrium of the network hash rate, the price, uh, the network difficulty, of all those different factors put together, you know, the biggest thing is whether or not it's going to be profitable or not. Okay. So that I will give an analysis a little bit later. All right. So the current epoch, it says here 372 in this article, but I believe it is now 376 and the DAG size is at 3.94 gigabytes, which is, yeah, I guess it's, it's nearing the four gigabyte DAG limit there. So I just want to quickly read here, four gigabyte GPUs are getting obsoleted while they still make up for a significant amount of ETH hash rate. Activating this change at Epoch 376, for example, would reduce the DAG size from 3.94 gigabytes to 2.47, okay, 2.47 gigabytes. With the reduced growth rate, four gigabyte GPUs will remain supported for an additional three plus years. So we can have, you know, the GTX 1060 three gigabyte cards that will be able to mine on Ethereum Classic. That would be pretty cool because... <laughs> I actually have a bunch of those still and I have a bunch of four gigabyte cards. Okay, so let's, you know, let's do a little like kind of like a thought provoking or theoretical play here and some analysis of whether or not when Ethereum Classic is going to enable this and if the four gigabyte GPUs are going to come to mine on the Ethereum Classic, there's some things that we have to take in consideration and whether or not it's going to be profitable as, you know, that's probably one of the biggest things our, people are, are wondering about. So currently looking at the GPU profit profitability ranking on, you know, what to mine, we can see here that Ethereum Classic has been pretty much one of the, I would say, top coins to mine. And uh, look at that. And it looks like there are some outliers here, like Swap seems to be coming back in profitability, but that's mainly for the NVIDIA cards. But for the AMD cards, it's always been Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. And yeah, but you guys know with Ethereum, they've had their, you know, transaction fees pretty high recently due to the whole DeFi movement. Uniswap, SushiSwap, you know, makes the transaction fees high because people are willing to pay for it. But let's just take a look at Ethereum Classic. Their network hash rate right now, as of making this video, is hovering, I believe, about 4.6 or 3.7 tera hash right now. I remember seeing the network hash rate for Ethereum Classic when, you know, the 51% attacks were happening was, I think, down to like 1.5 or 1.7 tera hash or something. It was just insane. But, you know, looking at the network hash rate right now and relative to the, you know, difficulty and the price and stuff. Yeah, it's profitable right now. Ethereum Classic is profitable, but you know, you probably won't be getting your rewards after, I would say, it depends on which uh, exchange you're on or which pool you're mining on. They do the payouts, the withdrawals every like, I don't know how many blocks, but apparently it, it's, for some people, it's been taking up to maybe two weeks at most from what I've heard. And yeah, it's because of the 51% attacks that they're just trying to mitigate any any of those kind of things happening again. And the, I guess the hacker or wh whoever's doing it is so that they they won't be able to liquidate the Ethereum Classic on exchanges, okay? So that's just a little mitigation there. Okay, so looking at, you know, the Ethereum Classic hash rate right now, it's, yeah, it's down really low. We're looking at BitInfo charts right now, but at the point, I remember when Ethereum Classic back in January went up to about, I think, $14 or $15 USD, you can see the network hash rate for Ethereum Classic went up to about 21 to 22 terahash at the end of January of 2020. So I clearly remember this moment as, you know, I was like, man, Ethereum Classic is, is super profitable right now. But shortly after the Ethereum Classic price did drop back down and it did kind of correlate to the network hash rate. You guys can see here, it's been going down and down and down and uh, the 51% attacks definitely didn't help with the network hash rate so yeah it's definitely down but it is showing that is it is the one of the more profitable coins to mine okay so we talked about the DAG size we talked about all that kind of stuff now do I think that you know Ethereum Classic with doing the DAG size fix is it going to make sense to do it or not I'm suspecting that there will definitely be a hash rate increase, but right now, right now, looking at this chart, you know, the four gigabyte cards are still able to mine Ethereum, okay? I actually have a few 580s, four gigabyte cards. You guys have probably been watching those videos and looking at the DAG size right now for just Ethereum, it's 3.84 and the APOC currently is 364. And yeah, right behind me, I, I, I see some of my 580 four gigabyte cards. They're mining Ethereum right now, just fine. So whether or not this is actually, if we 
can look at the, uh, let's see when they'll stop mining. Roughly about the end of December, okay? So that's what this website says, tool dag size at current like hash rate and at epoch 383 is when uh, the four gigabyte cards on Ethereum will stop mining. Now, looking at Ethereum Classic, the DAG size, it says here, it will stop at about October, the end of October 2020. So I as of recording this video, in the next month or so, we are probably going to see, if the DAG size fix is not implemented, then we'll probably see even more of a hash rate drop off, depending if people have, you know, eight gigabyte cards and of course the profitability that some hash rate might move over from Ethereum and whatnot, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, looking at that. So in my mind, there's definitely going to be a transition because depending on when this DAG fix is going to be implemented and, you know, when, you know, the Ethereum DAG is going to stop for four gigabyte cards for Ethereum, they didn't talk about reducing the DAG size. So that that's probably not going to happen. So definitely the four gigabyte cards. And there are a lot of them out there. I remember looking at the, uh, you know, HiveOS stats on their website, and I think like 50% on HiveOS right now are four gigabyte cards. So that's pretty massive. That's pretty massive and once ethereum you know hits the four gigabyte dag i'm guessing i'm i have a i have a feeling that all of that hash rate is going to move to ethereum classic which i think in terms of security it will definitely definitely help for security for ethereum classic now whether or not that's going to bring up the price of ethereum classic we don't know we're, we're going to see, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. There's so many different, you know, factors, so many different things that, you know, that can make Ethereum Classic fundamentally, in terms of fundamentals, a lot of things are being worked on it right now. So if no more of these 51% attacks happen, then I think it'll be good. And the DAG reduction that they're hopefully going to implement in the next month will be, you know, pretty awesome, pretty awesome to do. Okay. So yeah, that's my opinion. I think, uh, yeah, the DAG size that they talked about ECIP 1099, I believe this is a, is a good thing to do and I'm, I'm just very interested to see in terms of you know when ethereum their deg size goes to four gigabytes and you guys can see their network hash rate right now is is climbing and whether or not the four gigabyte cards will be knocked off then and then moved over to ethereum classic remains to be seen so anyways guys that's all i want to talk about and actually i want to talk about one more thing but i'll just have this article linked down below it's just talking about you know more of the information regarding the stuff that they talked about in the dev call here i believe ecip 1049 which is catch activity Six, which I believe they seem to have a strong, uh, how, do I, how do I say it? Like not an opinion, but it seemed like a few of the devs definitely want to move forward with ECIP 1049, the Catch Act 256, and as well as uh, Messi, uh, ECIP 1100, and ECIP 1098 as well. Okay, so anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I, I would really like to get some opinions on this because of the DAG size reduction for Ethereum Classic. If you guys think this is a good thing or a bad thing, or, you know, you're a person who invested in eight gigabyte cards and you sold off all your four gigabyte cards and now you're pissed off because now look at this, <laughs> four gigabyte cards are back in play. And I, I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but that that's just the reality. There was just not enough hash rate to, you know, mitigate the 51% attack. So if it makes sense to mine on Ethereum Classic and, you know, profitably and, you know, all that kind of stuff remains to be seen and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Okay, my friends, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.